What's going on, everybody? Got the uh, 55 up here on the lift, getting it ready for some for some things. Put a new fresh set of Hoosiers on it. Getting the uh, QA1 mod shocks put back on it. We just got got them back from Chris Bell. I mean, we talked about why we took them. Off. Uh, I don't think we ever did. We didn't in, in, so. in the in the LS Fest video. Nope, definitely not. I just put, well, we may have, but that footage okay. was some I don't have. So basically, uh, the first time, the only time we've ever let go of the button on this car, since it's been the twin turbos, uh, after it got tuned and all that, was LS Fest. And, get them? And uh, one of the shocks was, I mean, blowed out. Blowed out. There's no, there's no other. Blowed smooth out. Blowed smooth out. We pulled it off and it just. Yep. No resistance, kind of like the piston on this jack back here. Yes. <laughs> well, and we knew that before yeah. we went to LS Fest. Yeah. We didn't have nothing else to throw on it. Yeah. Probably did, but once we got down let's, there, we went. Let's be real, we forgot oh, about yeah. it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we went to uh, push down on the back of the car and one side went like this <laughs> and the other side, you know, was doing its job over there, but it can't yeah. do the job no. for both sides. So as soon as we got back, you know, and, and it didn't do bad. It no. made some decent passes down at LS Fest, so. You know, as they as they just seen, uh, I just was able to get that footage back and just put that video out. Man, it, it ran pretty good. Once we get some time with this it, car, it didn't run bad for sure. Especially for just uh, rolling the dice and throwing it out there. We had no idea. We based everything that we did, as we've said in the past, we're not tuners. We had we based everything off of your truck. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, one thing that we've done pretty much our whole lives, guys, is we take similar combos and we go, okay what do we have that is like this your truck is the most yeah. close thing to this as possible the only thing that is different is the weight percentages which this should make this one better way better this one should make this one better yep. uh your trucks 70 pounds 60 pounds heavier than this yes they're both leaf springs yes uh they were both well, i'm gonna say turbo yeah, yeah, no, they're, both turbo, turbo. Or they're both turbo 427s. But look, boost is boost. Yeah. We, we, we remember back to, we had your tune. Mm -hmm. Your truck was there. So I'm looking at yours going, okay, what do we leave on the street with yours? Six pounds. Let's do that. I can't, this is just off the top of my head. 35, 3600? Yes. Uh, and, and then we ramped it in exactly like it. Like we have one tune-up for your truck because we don't... Let's, let's be honest, we don't race it enough. Nope. So we have one tune-up that we know has worked pretty much <laughs> everywhere we tried it with your truck, yep. and it ain't slow. Nope. So we based it off of that, and man, dude, it went. It uh, did. It was kind of junk down there, so it hazed the tires a little bit. Uh, and, and as we raced Ryan, like, I even told Ryan, he's like, man, it makes me look real bad. <laughs> and I said, look, man, first off, he's been making people look bad his whole life. Yep. Uh, second off, I said, I hazed the tires a little bit. You smoked the tires. Yes. Like he knocked the tires off on his car, <laughs> yeah. which will tell you right now, uh, that car makes 500 less horsepower than what this Ish, is. Yeah. Of course, we weren't using it. Right. What, what we could. Right. But uh, that will show you how iffy the surface was. Yes. So, but with that being said, we, we, we went off of your truck. I was, I was pretty impressed with it. So then, fast forward to, I don't know how, how, how long was it after that that we took this thing uh, on, the drive? on the street? Oh, and I tried to shit. try to leave out at, in front of. Uh, so okay, shop. so a few things happened there. It was probably three or four months after LSS. We took this thing out on the street and it didn't move. But we also didn't have any of the data from Texas or from Texas because we didn't have the right laptop. But we had the tune still in it from yes, Texas. Something happened. And it did not work. <laughs> something happened. Um, now granted, we took the shocks off and I threw some junky old shocks that we had here on yeah. it. I say junky. They weren't they junky, were, they, they were just- They were QA1 stuff. Yeah. Uh, just some box stuff. They were different. Yeah. They were different. And we took it out and literally I pulled power out of the car. I pulled power out of the car didn't move pulled power out of the car it seemed like this thing had 3,000 horsepower yes. and were the tires junk maybe but mine were brand new 
<laughs> yeah, and we did the same thing. Yeah, we, uh, we, we struggled a little that so, night. So, uh, now we are going to take this thing to the track and we're going to try to get it lined out since we have never done that. Um, we're going to try to get it lined out at the track and then we'll have some data to go off of. So we, we you know, we took it to the dyno. You guys seen that video. It made what, 1700 on almost 18 on like pump E60. So don't let anyone fool you and tell you that you got to go buy a drum at E85 or whatever. Don't be telling people that they're going to yeah. get upset. They're going to so call I don't, us, I don't. say that we're not that we're, we don't know what we're talking about and you know, I mean, got their cams locked out and shit. Probably, is the cam locked out on this one? Yes. Okay. All of them or just some of them? <laughs> just, just the ones that it has. The one that's available to lock out. So this thing makes good power. It's a driver, it's got AC. You, like you got the AC working in it, right? Mm -hmm. Like you cruise it a couple times this summer. AC blasting, works good. Yes. Um, so we just got we to did finish. not put a heater on it. Did not put a heater. It's kind of weird. Yeah, well, you gotta run. Oh, heater heater yeah, lines heavy. all the way to the back. It's heavy. And so we didn't do that. So we're finishing up getting this thing ready. We got to put the uh, onboard air system back in it. I put it in at one point and then never fastened it down. I, I mean, it happened, cool. but it, it, uh, it's it's pretty neat. Like it's got a little little thingy here where you can air the tires up after we get done street racing or whatever. Um, hook that up. Make sure the shifter works, and then take this thing to the track. Gonna uh, <clears throat> we're gonna take. Eh, 30 pounds off the front with new tires with new tires and that big catch can oh, that yeah. I'm fixing I didn't to take think off about of that. that um so we're gonna put some front runners on the front dude uh, those tires are so heavy. Heavy. i just took them off my truck this week uh, i forgot how heavy they were i, I, I remember how they heavy are they were. insane but, so so we ordered some front runner hoosiers for the front of this thing they should be uh, we're gonna take off the the street drivable mickey thompson mm -hmm. i mean they're front runners too yeah but they're they're a street tire they're a street tire it's a full blown it's a radial, radial uh heavy yeah so we're gonna pull those off um the weight bias in this in this car is not exactly what i want it to be but it's also a leaf spring uh, yeah. i i'm gonna be honest i don't know a whole lot about leaf springs i've been learning yeah well i like I've had I've, a leaf like, spring for a long time well and i finally decided to start learning and uh i'm probably more confused now than i was when i started <laughs> I mean, we put this bracket uh Pro bracket is it a pro bracket? It's bracket a, pro. It's a bracket. The Hoosier is a bracket radial. That Mickey Thompson is a pro bracket. That's right. So, anyways, we put that on it because uh, a leaf spring car should smash the tire. Um, this car's heavy. Like mm -hmm. we said, it's thirty eight hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Thirty eight hundred plus. Mm -hmm. um, it should smash this tire, and yeah, this tire good. has a slick sidewall. I'm sorry, radial sidewall with a slick. So what, what that means to us is super stiff sidewall and for still the weight. A, and, yes, for the weight. and still a slick sur a slick uh, tread for bad surfaces. Yeah, try to hook. Yeah. Um, where we're going is going to be far from a bad surface. <laughs> right. So we're not real sure what it's going to do, but at this point, flip, <laughs> flip this thing over backwards. <laughs> it won't. It'll drag these bolts right here off. We'll lose eighty pounds uh -huh. on the track. Yep. So. Um, we have, we're not concerned with it being, we test most everything on pretty good surfaces. Uh, we're just looking for data. We don't want to go out there and go, man, that thing was fast, but it's moving all over the place. We don't want that. That does not make good data. Right. Good data consists of a nice, fine, smooth drive shaft, nice, fine, smooth RPM. Uh, and, and then we can try a few things. So we I'm just want to see what it'll run. One thing I'm anxious to see, um, which I've seen how they worked on the dyno, I want to see them at the track is the electronic waste gates. Yes. They they worked amazing on this car on the dyno, and I'm fixing to swap to them on my truck, so I'm I'm pretty anxious to see. So we have we have those uh, gates on two of our cars now. We have them on the donk, which seems to work great going down the highway. Uh, we have uh, roll raced that more than we've. Drive taking it to the track yeah. so and that's what we want to continue to do with that car uh, until we just don't have time to go race it we need to take that thing to the track and get it lined out also but we don't have time and as of right now we've got three or four cars that we need to take to the track and test yeah so anyways uh the front man i hit the brakes while we was out there at ls fest and it yeah. was real iffy in the car at least yours worked <laughs> Oh yeah, yours didn't work at all, did they? <laughs> I don't know what I'm complaining about. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We're gonna, 
whenever I pull them off, I'm, I'm hoping that the, those radials have just set for a long time oh, and we haven't had a chance to warm them up and go. Because basically we didn't drive this car much before we went down there. No, like. We pulled it out of the trailer and I went straight to the starting line. Yeah. So uh, anytime that this thing sets for a long time, normally you get out on the highway and after a few miles, they'll start to, to round yes. out. I don't know I mean, if that was the case or not, but they, they definitely have some flat spots or, you know, some. Well, even though setting. it's a radial, it's a really soft tread. So it will, it will flat spot. What well, it and set. there's not a whole lot of surface area. Yes. It's about this wide yes. for it to flatten out. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to put a, okay, one over here. that could have been part of it, but then the other part of it could be. Oh, oh man. That hey, would have been bad. It's close, man. That would have been bad. I'm too old to be fine. <laughs> so these right here were the original OG brakes and calipers. Like Just original, original. Yeah. Triple OG. Yes. The the ones that I first actually that's not true. Because when I first got the car, it was a strut front end. That's true. It had those conies. I bought on. these and put these on it. Had those conies that moved about <laughs> yeah. this far. Yep. It just wasn't gonna work. No. So we'll pull these off and I'll probably take these and just see if they're warped. I feel like they're probably gonna be warped. Probably a little bit. Like You've these, been hard on them on the on been, the streets yes. from 170. And I should have another set of these, but I looked earlier and I couldn't find them. Huh. If not, we may holler at TRZ and or Strange and just get another set coming. Yeah. I don't want to, but I don't know. We may put them on a a machine and see about see if they can be turned down just see if uh i don't want to turn them too much they're already thin enough that they create a lot of heat i've seen these things i've seen pictures of these that are just glowing red on the yeah. on og so we don't want to take too much off of them i just want to see how warped they are like if it hits right here and doesn't even come close to hitting down here then yeah you just get some new just ones. get some new ones i don't even really have a a number in my head that I think it will run. I'd like to go as fast as it did back in the Mod Street days. I think that'd be cool. It should. I mean, it, it should. I mean, it's heavier now by... Three, 400 pounds. Three, four. 400 pounds. It's probably 400 pounds heavier than what it was then, but it also makes... 600 more horsepower. I mean, it made what, 1150 with the big block carburetor deal and nitrous? Uh, almost 1200. Yeah. Like 1180 something, I think. Yeah. That's with a lot of nitrous. Yeah, it made like 600 on motor. On motor. <laughs> made 600 on motor. We doubled it. Yeah, we, we just put no jet in Through a single a entry plate with that 4150 carburetor. With that Braswell car. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, We've been cheating for a long time, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so we're taking this 55s going testing with us. What else? What's up, Juice? <laughs> we can't we can't take this no can't take that busted no oh, don't tease me yep we are about to start messing with this so we uh took it to armageddon which you guys will see a video of here shortly or you may have already seen it by the time this video comes out we did pretty well at armageddon but we were kind of band-aiding the transmission situation so Right after Armageddon, we put a two-speed 400 in this deal, and we haven't even we hardly haven't, started it. We haven't it. done anything. Um, I haven't started it at all. You might have. I, I started it to fill it with fluid, and that was it. That door is just done. Look yeah. <laughs> I have a brand new door up there. We probably should put on it. This this car, it took a beating. Like it didn't crash or get torn up in the trailer. We just messed it up ourselves in Australia. So. We've got a few things that I'm gonna do to this. Um, like you said, we have not uh, let off the button of this car. We, we crutched it through Australia. We crutched it through- California, California mega cash days. At that mega cash days. And, and it still ran good. Oh yeah. Um, but with the way we were doing it, it just, it wasn't as happy as what it could be. Right. I'm not saying it was it, it hurt us, but we It was still fast. Leave. It was still fast, but we couldn't leave like we wanted to leave. Right. Um, we ran, Come on, Mickey, in this. Uh -huh. 172 first, 176. You want to know what it was? Yes. 159. It was the same as our MPK. The donk's first gear. The donk is like a 
one fifty something. Same, right? Yeah. I thought we had a one seventy two and something. You're right though. We thought I it thought was a one seventy two and it turns it was, out it was a one fifty nine. One fifty eight, one fifty nine, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. You're just trying to fall today. Um So yeah, it was a three-speed uh, transmission, and what we did was as soon as we let go of the button, we clicked second. Yep. You can see it in the video. Sean let go of the button, boom, second and it gear. Was not, it, and it eventually upset it to where the transmission was hurt, it seemed like. Yes, it was not performing as it should. So we sent it back in to Eminem, and we explained to him what we were doing with it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know he was shaking his head. I know, probably. <clears throat> but we, we did what we had to do. Um, the car wasn't as fast as what we wanted it to be. We, I mean, 120, 60 foot. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we could 125, but still, this car, it should it should 60 foot fa faster than that. But yep. um, with most of the surfaces that we were on, we were okay with that. Oh, yeah. Um, and we don't know what we're going to do with the car. It's not like we have a race coming up that we know we're going to take this car to. We just want to be able to do anything with it. And right now can't do anything with it. well what sucks is there is a race that we would like to go to right now that we can't go to because it's not ready we would just go get our teeth kicked in we'd be right. donating i talked to boosted last night about it too, i told boosted boosted was like oh there's always next year and i go i'm tired of doing that though like yeah. it that's what i said last year last year yeah this thing was on a, a boat to australia and we'll go so we couldn't take it then that's a that's a legitimate excuse not to go to that race yeah well this year we just didn't get the car ready yep there's, there's, there's no excuse there. Um, just a has been. <laughs> yeah. I, I told him last night. I said, "Look, man, I'm just a has been. I, I you know, go, go have fun down there. Like boosted's going. Yeah, you know, go be real street for us. Go be real street boosted. I'll, I'll sit and do the same thing that I always do. Watch videos. Yeah, we'll, we'll be his cheerleader. It sucks. I, I really want to go, but it is what it is. Um, so we'll at least get this ready and the 55 ready to where anything comes up like with this because everybody knows we're spur of the moment type guys that's that's the only way that we can go do anything is spur of the moment we can't plan out what we want to do yeah i mean as of now the way we make our money is mpk i mean let's be real that's that you know we we sit around and wait on a schedule for it and then by the time it comes out you know it's so busy we can't fit well, anything it, else in it takes up all of our time so you know and this you know they're both small tire cars 55 in this car but they're they're different types of small tire cars so this is let it eat run what you brung the 55 is more of a let's take it out on saturday night find some grudge races or enter you know little 10 car shootouts or whatever daily driver type stuff yes so no you know i get it we don't daily drive it, it but could type. Be driven, dra daily driven yeah i'm not gonna daily drive it it's I mean, where are you going to drive it to? Let's from your porch to the shop? Yeah, it is not. <laughs> it is not practical to have that car for a daily driver. Yeah, but that's what the F one fifty is for. Which we are also. Which we are also taking to the track. So, so did you? We can knock out three, three cars off the. We need these things tested. But I feel like one of them, if not two of them, are going to break as soon as we get there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to have a little bit of time with one. <laughs> so. Because let's be honest, man, we don't know if F-150 is going to hold together. We, we don't. It made a little over 1,300 horsepower, and I told him just stop right there, even though I think it would make a little bit more, but uh, the belt was slipping a little bit. And at this point, I think we should just put the old pulley back on it. There's no sense in turning it. There, there's no sense in slipping the belt. Yeah, there's no sense if in it's, slipping the You belt. know what I mean? So. If it's already slipping. Yep. We'll show a little bit of what we're doing with this also. Um, a long time ago... I say a long time ago. What's it been, like six months now? What's that? We got the carbon front brakes for this car. Oh, yeah, yeah, about six months ago. So we're going to try to uh, not break that front end and get it off, <laughs> and then we'll we'll put the carbon brakes and everything on the front of that thing. Um, other than that, it's pretty much easy. Oh, we got some new wheels, too. You can take an inch of dust off of this thing, yeah. and, and it's ready to go. Yeah, we also got some new uh, Bogarts in for this deal. Uh, one thing we didn't like was how much the wheel set in after we switched it over to small tire. So they built us a one inch backspace wheel to... What's on it now? Uh, three. Three or three and a half. Is it really? Yep. Well, that's not going to work then. How come? That's a three? Mm-hmm.
We'll put them on tomorrow and see. Because I- I'm not saying it won't work. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's what you said. This thing, 99% of the time is going to have a Hoosier on it. Yes. We're going to put the Mickey Thompsons on this wheel. Yes. Well, then we ain't never going to have this wheel. Because everybody says at the track, you got to have a Mickey Thompson. We need to be on a good track very much with this car. Or, or we might be. I don't know. Yeah. So we might should put a Hoosier on this one, put it on the car. And then put the Mickey Thompson on that ty- on that wheel. Oh, are you just not wanting to swap tires back and forth? I'm cool with that. Oh, okay. But if this one right here has a one inch backspace and that one's got a three, yeah. and, we can, and I think that this tire, this wheel will look better. This wheel oh, no, it'll look, look better. better on the car. It'll look better, but what are we going to test on next week? The Mickey or the Hoosier? I mean, it's going to be a good track. Yeah. I'd like to see what we can get done on a, on a Hoosier. Oh. Prove everybody wrong. Or not. Yeah. Or we'll be going to be swapping and putting the Mickeys on it. <laughs> just like everybody tells us. Yeah. Look. There's a couple of small tire guys that we listen to that it's serious small tire. Yes. Well, there's more than two. Uh, I mean, Boosted, Scott Taylor. Boosted, Scott Taylor. Uh, Jason. Jason Rank. Oh, And no, also Jason. I was thinking truck Jason. Cantu. Yeah. And also Jason Cantu. Yeah. Like, if you watch as much small tire racing as what we do, because we do keep up with all of it, we yep. do watch it all. Yep. Because uh, it's cool. Everybody does it. You know, everybody swaps to the, the Mickey. On any decent surface. On any decent surface. Like some guys will go as far to run a Hoosier first round of a no prep race and switch to a Mickey second round because the track gets good yep. or better. Yep. So. Which blows my mind. We, so, I, I'm not, There's I will. an argument to be made. I will because I'll, I'll tell them right now. They told us at Armageddon, swap to a Mickey, you'll pick up two tents. We swapped to a Mickey and smoked the damn tires. Yeah, we did. They told us we wouldn't have to change nothing, and we didn't do nothing but haze the tires the whole, whole pass. Who just yes. fell out? Right, right. Oh. right, right. What size is it? So, three quarter. And also, there's an argument to be made. Ryan went to the finals of Outlaw Armageddon. Yeah. Then he got messed up. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Hey, with that car, that that triangle that, speed car, God, was hauling ass. Dang it, it okay. was fast. But. He beat all those other people with a Hoosier. He did, which was cool. Okay, so but then okay, here's the argument that, that could be made. And I asked all them guys, if the track gets good, why do you swap to a Mickey? <laughs> hey, sorry, <laughs> big mad. Uh huh. Yeah, you did. Good job. You got him. You good got girl. Him. Got him. Got him. Uh, I mean, there's an argument to be made. They say the Hoosier shakes. Why does it why, shake? Why does it shake? Because it's trying to hook. Yep. Okay. So if you could make the Hoosier work, would it not be faster than a Mickey I mean, that spins? One small tire guy said yes at the end of the track after you almost out running. Brent Self, 100%. And he even said if somebody worked with the Hoosier, and and I respect Brett, Brent uh-huh. because, I mean, look. Look what he does out there. He, he wins. He wins. He's yeah. fast. Uh, he outran us in our, at our, our long run by, yeah. what, half a car probably? Half a car. Okay. That's, that's not he bad. Was impressed. That he was, was impressed. He was impressed. So was I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Lie. So was work. I. I was impressed too. Yeah. Uh, I ran half a car uh, next to Brent Self. Now, I'm not saying he was on a record-setting pass or anything. He yeah. could have went over there and said, oh, I got Sean and <laughs> yeah. turned it down. And if he did, fair enough. Yeah. Like he should. Yeah. Um, but I, I started bullshitting with him a little bit, which I've never really got a chance to talk with him. Mm-mm. Cool dude. Yeah. Um, I talked to him a little bit at the end of the track, and and he said, "You got Hoosier on that car?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." And I thought, "Here we go." Yeah. You know, he's gonna tell me how stupid I am. <laughs> and so, and again, and fair, so, enough. And, fair enough. And so I started talking to him about it a little bit, and uh, and we started talking. And he even said, he said, "I'm telling you right now, man. Anytime we go to the street, we run a Hoosier." Yeah. Why? Because it hooks. Because it hooks. Yeah. So. And if the surface is really good, it's still trying to hook. Yep. So if you work on that, instead of, uh, we used to tell Chuck all the time, like he used to run that Mickey Thompson. We're like, yeah, of course it doesn't shake. You know why? Because it's spinning. <laughs> yeah. You're yep. going to go faster with a tire that wants to hook versus a tire that wants to spin, in my opinion, and especially on a small tire. Well, now, just... big tire, you can argue both sides of that. Because look at how much wheel speed Jeff Lutz uses. 
Yes. We dead stick our tires on big tires. Jeff Lutz spins the shit out of his. Yes. Um, two, two different ways to apply power. Hey, Briar! But it, it, it's, it's the same. She's big mad with the. It's the same Stop theory it. at the end of the day, though, is figure out how to keep that tire around. Yeah. Figure out how to keep this tire happy, and you think you couldn't apply more power to it? Yeah, you could. I don't know. The only, the only downside I see, or downfall of it, is it supposedly has a, not a stiff sidewall, but you could probably crutch that by putting a tube in it. So, I don't know. It, it'll be well, interesting to see. I know that the whole time we were over in Australia, uh, Scott was on a Mickey. And, and we he was were hauling not. ass. And he was hauling ass. <laughs> he was running faster than we were. <laughs> but. He also changed his whole car up. Switched suspension, everything. Yes. Even though people told us, no, you don't got to do nothing. Yeah. But people do it in between rounds. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. I understand there's got to be something there. So. And, here, and I'm just, I'm not a small tire guy enough to, and we yeah. haven't been there to actually test. And that's the reason we're taking both tires. Well, didn't, Ryan did test after Armageddon with Petty, with both tires. And he didn't go any faster on the Mickey than he did the Hoosier. Uh, yes. Like, I think he went faster on the Hoosier, didn't he? I think he, he did. I think if he did. I remember right. I may be wrong. But. Yeah. I know he tested. That's the same time we were there and we broke the transmission in this. Yes, that is the same time. So, we're going to give it a fair shake. We're going to take some Mickeys with a tube and we're going to take some Hoosiers. Yep. And we're going to see what happens. I mean, it's going to be a, a long track day. Jumping out of Hopefully. one car and going to the next. But this is really the only one that needs to cool off. So we can yes. make a pass in this one. As it's cooling off, we run the other two. We run the other two. We probably run the other two twice while this thing's cooling off, honestly. I'm going to be uh, nervous in the Ford. I bet. That's the only thing I'll be nervous in. I bet. I mean, do you leave the first launch in four wheel drive or do you run and it just in two wheel drive and see what happens? <laughs> yeah, I think the track's going to be good enough. You could run it in two wheel drive and I think it not so matter. Too, but I'm still nervous about uh, everything's stock in that thing. Stock drive shaft. Yes, both of them. <laughs> Yep. I'm sure we'll break some stuff. Uh, I mean, let's be real. Stock drive shaft, stock, stock transfer case, stock transmission that has nice parts inside of it. Uh, stock differentials with nice parts inside of them. So, you know, stock stuff motor break. with nice parts right. inside of it. Yep. Yep. It'll be interesting. Like I'm, I'm pretty excited to see it though, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, but they say torque steers, you know, oh, the yeah. real deal. Oh yeah. And uh. To just jump in something? I, I ain't even been street driving this thing. <laughs> no. I mean, you've have you ever launched that thing in four-wheel driving when it was stock? Uh -huh. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. But it yeah, was stock. But, but it was stock. It didn't spin. Yeah. It didn't. It had like a thousand less horsepower. That yeah, wasn't trying to dig like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. All right. So part of getting this car ready consists of figuring out where we are on weight percentages. To do this, we got some new intercomp scales and they are wireless. What Don just said, he goes, Oh my god, there's no wires. Yeah, remember that one we had to mess with all the time? Yeah, it was terrible. They still work. Do you have to charge them or do you have to put batteries on? Well, we don't really know. We're going to find out. We'll read the instructions. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's the first thing we're going to do is read the instructions. What? That's right. This guy's a lot smaller. Oh yeah. Than our other box. Cause you don't have to wrap all the wires up in it. <laughs> yeah. Man, talk about easy setup. Well, we're still not real sure yet. Like we thought we were gonna have to plug some stuff in and do a whole bunch of stuff. We'll do a bunch and, of pairing. And get on a computer and who has one of those these days? Yeah. Uh, my phone doesn't have a USB on it. No, we um, looked. But all we did was turn it on. Once we put batteries in the pads, we're about to see. You know that all? You want people to see what it weighs? Oh yeah. Yeah, and then put you in it. That's about what it was. I know, but with the front end too. Yeah. Uh, guys, put the front end on it. Yeah. 
And then, uh... You don't Man. Wireless is the way to go. We should have done this a long time ago. Ugh. All right, now I can do the math on what I weigh as soon as I get in this thing. <laughs> like pretty much it's 2,700. So it's gonna be, uh, it won't be as bad as what I thought. Mm -mm. It's, it's under 3,000. Yeah. Okay, because I don't weigh 300. No. We're about to find out. <laughs> How cool are those? We finna see. Like here. Here. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need y'all to know what it weighs. Now here. I'm good with it. Uh, I'm more concerned with this, and I kind of like it right now. 46 on the front, 53 well, on the rear. When you get in, it's going to go to 54 and a half, 55 on, on the, the rear. rear. Yeah. It should because I set back far enough. Yes. Don't drop that, I please. Drop it. Or hit any buttons. Okay, this is race red. Yep. Dust and everything. Yep. The wires are dumb. I know. Shouldn't have wires, it's right? It's, it's about to be. Oh man, it's a good thing you guys put this in park first, huh? Nice. Nice. It's a good job. We knew. Not that far who who adjusted this fan i did it had park uh tires guys it does not have park right now oh let me put it in park the yeah. shifter's backwards yes i was gonna say okay that's it um air, air the tires up guys okay. i at least need the the same and everything and 35 in the front. Like, look, I, I'm, I know that we're just seeing what this weighs before we do some work to it, and then we're gonna weigh it again, but I'm gonna legit wait. This one is almost flat. Yes. Like that right there. Getting this girl in a minute. Just like you remembered. Well, I mean, I've been in an MPK car so much. I mean, if you if you have your hands full next week with the 55 and the Ford, I can always drive this one for you. I know. You to. I know you can. <laughs> I have. That, this car won't go that fast yet. How fast? 430s. 439. 160. 330. Huh? 330. 294. What's it say, Aiden? Right now? Yeah. 295. 2955. Now it's 2965. That means I weigh. They're saying that thing's saying that I weigh 300 pounds. No. Yeah, do the math. It said 290. No, it's 200. If you were seven. No, two, 260. It was 2700, and now it's 2965. Oh, 2965. Yeah. I, thought, I thought he said 2995. He did. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. Okay. That's what he said at the first. Oh. Okay, I just fixed the tail. No, no, huh? no, you're good. You're good, okay, chill. So, so I'm, I am 265. Yeah, okay. that's not bad. No, I'm 265. I weighed this morning. Yeah. I was naked, though, yeah. and I weighed 265. Oh, we need to change the settings to where it doesn't shut itself off. I, I read about that. So, yeah, I raise it back up. I mean, they try. it's smart. No, it's not that smart. It is that smart. I told you that smart. It came back on? It, it looks free. Yeah. Man, how cool is it? That hey, y'all have something new on your shop list every week. Aside from everything else he tells you to do, don't let these cars look like this. This is embarrassing. So 54 and a half on the rear and 45 on the nose. Perfect. I like it. I don't like the 2960. Get off the car, Aiden. I'm not on Let the go. car. Let go. What'd that change? Three pounds. No way. Yep. No what? <laughs> no way. Um. I like it. So it's it's exactly. So you know, twenty nine seventy five. By the time I put my pants, my shoes, my helmet, my neck brace, at eh, 
maybe 29.80. So it's actually four pounds lighter because you've lost weight than the last time we scaled it. It was 29.69. Well, and plus, remember, we added 20 pounds to it at yes, Outlaw so, again. Yeah, so you've I've lost, lost like 40 the, pounds, I've 30, lost 40 35. Pounds. 35, at least 35 from the last time that we drove yeah. this. So wait, we're... So there, there is our notes from what, what getting it ready the, for Armageddon. If it was, if it's still the same, and you added 30, and you added 30 pounds, right? No, we added 20. We added 20 more to the trunk. the trunk. And it's in there right now? It is in there right oh. now. And, but Sean has lost 30 pounds ish. So Armageddon, it was way heavier. No, it was the same. Well, it was 20 pounds heavier. Four pounds different. Yeah. Oh, oh, I went to sleep. So which one did you hit? Just power. And then five. You have to hold it a little. Which one's power? On off. On. Oh, God. I cannot fucking see it. Five. Yeah. Boom. Okay, I like it. Here we go. Man, hey, these scales are... Man, dude. We'll, we'll start weighing some more stuff now. I know. It's not such a pain to... I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to holler at Intercom, tell them thanks. Oh yeah, for sure. Just tell them I love them. Yes. Yeah, no, it's like they weren't even. Skills. I mean, they weren't much more than what I don't remember what I paid for my first set because how many years have I had those? A long time. I remember the first time I ever bought scales, and of course I bought Intercom uh -huh. because it was what we always used. Like, and then and then I've seen I've been to some chassis shops that don't have Intercom, and I always it takes me a while because. I can look at any intercomp and find exactly what I need because oh, yeah. we've had them forever. And so then if you go to a chassis shop that doesn't have them, I always, and then they get the crossed and I don't care about none of that. Yeah. I understand that dirt track the shit. dirt track people that, that set like their Tyler stuff up, they, they care about that yeah. stuff. Um, doesn't really matter to me, but I remember the first time that I got scales, which now at this point was. Had to be 15 years ago. <laughs> had to have been. I mean, it was before I met you. Yeah. So. And I've had the same set. Yeah. And I know that it doesn't help whenever we pull the cables <laughs> pull out by the, the cables. Yeah. You know they crazy? actually fi fixed them one time. Remember, we sent them in and Just had recently. them fixed. Well, you know what's crazy is when we got them back, they still kind of messed up, right? And we fought them and fought them. I plugged them in at my house. It just worked. The, it plugged them in or turned it on? Plug, plugged them in and then turned it on and everything oh, okay. just worked. I didn't have to mess with nothing. Sometimes if you got fresh batteries, yeah. they, they're good, but a lot of times they'll <laughs> they'll go to sleep too. And oh yeah, then, no, the, the main deal still runs on batteries. Yes, but <coughs> it won't. we won't have the problems with it if you actually plugged it into the wall. Right. Um, but they're still good scales, oh, but yeah. I wanted another set because look at the convenience of this oh, and we're gonna put these in the trailer with us. I don't mind having plug, pluggable scales here at the shop. Yep. But when we're at the track and we want to scale something, I want to have these. For sure. So. There's so much stuff in here still though that we could lose weight on. Oh yeah. Like, look at the firewall. Yep, it's all so steel. For everybody that doesn't know, the, the firewall in the MPK car is all titanium. This is titanium. Look at how heavy that this is. That thing's heavy. And look how long it is. Yes. It's crazy too that it's that long whenever the motor plate is further back in this car. That is weird. But you know, if you'll remember also, your other car was built different. So it was originally built, you know what I mean? Like this is further That's right. That's further right. forward. That's so right. like this car was built for you for a purpose. I mean I still yeah. wish that we would have taken all this out. Yeah. Because that's, that's any way you look at it, that's weight. Even if it's 10 pounds that's or true. 20. Hey, man, yeah. I'd give anything to be able to lose 20 oh, pounds. Oh, dude, if we could lose 20 pounds easily like this on the other car, we'd do it right it now. I wonder how much these doors weigh. Because these things have had so much body work done. To I mean, them. let's take them off. We can figure it out right now. I have a brand new carbon door upstairs that is this side. Remember, we got it for the, the MPK car when you know uh -huh. when you know when yeah. we scrubbed some mile yeah, an hour yeah, off yeah. against the wall. I mean, and then Dad fixed it, so we didn't end up using it. We're about to though. Man, this car's nice, man. I always forget. Like I know it's a nice yeah, car, but you it, forget because how because it's fooled. It fools you from the outside. Yeah. Because we've duct taped it all up, <laughs> and it's got an inch of dust sitting on it. Look like a, we could call this a barn find right uh -huh. now. Yep. Like literally, we could tell everybody this is a barn find. Barn find Nova. God, I love buttons wiring too. I don't want to get out. I like just sitting in here. Yep. One of these days you're going to find me just sitting in here. You're going to walk in the <laughs> shop and I'm just going to be sitting in here. 
What's happening? Nothing. What are you doing? Just hanging around. Just hanging out. Still have the little hole right here. Yep. So a lot of people ask what that hole is. Uh, we got tired of towing the car underneath. So one time when it was at the chassis shop, it got that hole and there was a thing that stuck up <laughs> there, there and you put boop, the pin boop. in it. And you put the pin in it and yep. then you strapped the car. And then as the car shook and moved around over the years, that hole got a lot bigger. <laughs> well, what happened was, I mean, the first time we pulled the car with it, that hole was just about this big yeah. and it dented it all up because it was pulling the cage. The cage in the body wasn't moving the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first time Kai Kelly ever walked up and saw and look and really looked at this car, and bear in mind they watched us on TV before they ever met us. Yeah, which is kind of weird. Yeah, but him and Bobby, were like, were like wanting to see the car the first time we raced against them, yeah. and they came over and I showed Kai. I pushed, I pulled the cage like this and pushed the body <laughs> of the car, and he watched how far that moved inside there, yeah. and he couldn't believe it. Yep. And that's why uh, a lot of people don't realize that whenever he lost the original Shocker, just what, two years ago two down years in Texas? Ago, America's Lira. Yeah, America's List. When David Gates wadded that thing up, yeah. uh, that hurt him, which, yeah, I, and I could relate because oh, yeah. his that car, the original Shocker, was real close to the same pile of shit <laughs> as what this car was. Yep. Uh, so the same way that he couldn't believe that this thing was such a piece of shit and it was as fast as what it was, it was the same way that I was with his car. I did. That thing's yep. a pile. Yep. Even knowing that my car was just as bad, if not worse. Yep. Just the stuff that we used to run was unbelievable. And Well, you could get away with it back then. Well, Because everyone's so stuff much, was like that. There were so many times that we were like, we could spend money on this or we could make more power. And it was always make more power. Yep. I felt bad for Kai when they crashed that car. Oh, for sure. Because I could see that happening to, well, no, I couldn't. But I ain't never, nobody's ever drove this but you. Yeah. I think and it was in a controlled nobody, environment. No, no nobody's one. ever. And it was in a pretty controlled environment. Yeah. Not a street. <laughs> well, and I was, I put the tune in it that I was cool with you running. Yes. Of course, it went three tenths faster <laughs> than what we said that it was going to run. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Remember I told you, I said, it's going to go out there, it's going to run a, a smooth 470. Yep, yep. This thing drove like a Cadillac though, man. Yep. Once we figured out the, the what we were doing wrong with the rear suspension yep. all them years, yep. we figured it out. And it was just <laughs> smooth. Every time. Just waiting now to... Uh, you know how to use this deal? I don't. Like this At least these are much smaller than all the other ones that I've What? These tires? Oh yeah. I think the last ones I did on here were, were your bigger your, your yeah. truck, right? Ooh, I don't know what you guys do. What is that? Oh, I'm still not of. Um I mean there's there's the attachments the over here. Oh okay. Yeah. I know that much. See, see. So we got this nice Ranger tire balancer that no one besides Monkey knows how to use. Well, we've just never tried. Yeah. Give us that. Yeah. Is it fit? Ooh, I don't know if it's going to slide in there further than that. Oh, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh. Look at that. So we got these new Hoosiers put on the wheels for the 55 yesterday and Sean went to take them to balance today and Mustang alignment was closed. And how are they gonna be closed on the weekend before New Year's? Yeah. New Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah, the Eve of New Year's Eve. Yeah. No people have stuff to do. Um, I think there's a switch on it's the back. It's over there. It's right here. Attachments also. It Man. can be very hidden. If, what an idiot. I said USA. Okay. Now we gotta do this. This is like one of the first things we gotta do. Right? Yeah. Does it? You just read the number and then you gotta manually put it in. Hey, you read the number on the deal. You know, about 15. Uh, yeah, 15 and a half. Oh, and then that's distance. Someone's gonna be like, man, that's not how you use this at all. Oh, I thought it was gonna go to and 16. Like, and then, um, do you, you hit oh, the deal. Clamp. You hit the Do you know how wide this wheel is? Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Should four? Be, should be, yeah, four or four and a half. Really? I think That's the 17s are four and a half. Yeah, it says four and a half. Man, 
Four and a half. She's not. We don't need this. This is that's for dummies. Yeah. You got a 17? Oh, yeah, for sure not the 14. And then we do the one that tells you where you're gonna put the weights, right? And we're just gonna put them back here. Yeah. So you just want one in the center? Yep. Well, shit, we're oh, shit. weights on here. Remember I had told them no, we were gonna take them off? I remember. Let me see. Well, I have a scraper in here. Let's just do the static too then. Um What's the static to? Hang on. It's where this one's at. You can't just be pressing buttons. Oh. It is? Yeah. Okay. Kind of just yeah, no, you can see the red, and then you can see red, and you can see red, and red. I'll always spin it the first time and balance. Just to see where it's at? Just to see where it's at, and then if I need to add some to the center versus the... Oh yeah, here's the black ones. I don't think those stick very good though. They stick great. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, what do you know? Nothing. You just own this place. Yeah. We use all your toys. These are the last ones I bought because my tires needed to. They're right here. Yeah, those are small though. These are those quarters. Are I got one ounce. Oh wow. That's a lot better. We got to put like 16 Look, of those man, things ain't nobody there. used this thing. Oh, there they are. This is probably all of them right there. I was like, I don't want. All right, roll it, set it down now, and then see what it says. I was like, I don't want three stacks of quarter ounce weights. Man, that's a pretty good wheel. I know. I mean, it's a bogart. Yeah. Huh? Now, nah. so you've got so the aluminum two deal. Or oh, whatever okay. that is. So it'd be. All right. Okay, so right there, straight up, we put some on the outside, correct? On the very outside? Yep. And, and then the other one goes, okay, I see. That is Point half. five. Do I need to uh, clean, clean her off? Yeah, we can. It's okay, probably let me do that. Right now, everyone's in the comments going, no, no, oh, no. Do exactly. it. And be like, I never went to school for this, just to let you know. I don't even know if we ever read the instructions. Well, we're gonna put Aaron's wheels on her K5 tomorrow. So. You putting those other tires on there? Yeah, I guess. They're big. What's she gonna chop, chop, cut, cut? What? She's gonna chop that up. Thing beeps a lot. It does. I feel like it's yelling at me. Come on, be zeros. I think we can live with that. That's what I was at. Quarter ounce is pretty good. It is. Somewhat 
Is that thing out of fuel? To shut it off. Yeah. So that you can put fuel in it. So. So. Uh, we're, it, we we fixed an exhaust leak once on it, and uh, apparently that wasn't a permanent fix. So we're going to take this thing further apart and see exactly what needs to happen. Been getting around it a little, hadn't it? Yeah. Which is weird. Just that one spot, though. Yeah. Yep, let me see that. Aid. You can get the header off and take it and have it flattened out, or you just want to. I mean, it needs to, but I ain't pulling that steering shaft off. Oh, it for real goes through there? Yeah. Right? I mean, it appears so. Yeah, no, it does. This one goes around it. There's a lot going on in here, folks. So we would pull the header off. But the steering shaft runs down through them primaries there. Here, hey, hey. So we're not going to do that. What? Uh, pull the header off because that steering shaft runs through the primaries. I mean, honestly, you shouldn't have to do this right here. What I'm doing? No, you shouldn't. I, I agree, but I I hate exhaust leaks so much that I just do it most of the time. You know, just not on this one. Is there any science to that, or you just... I try to put as much on there as I can because I'm going to wipe half of it off getting it down in there. <laughs> it's going to be on a valve cover, <laughs> yeah, the heads, it's, spark it's plugs. Be everywhere. Totally worth it. Yep. Wow. Oh. Over this, everything. This whole thing. Yep. Okay. Nothing will go wrong here. What is hot? What? This right here? Oh yeah, that might be a little more. Now let it go. Okay, look out. Now get out of my way. <laughs> You're in my way. There's just so much stuff in it's the way. It's just, it's all in the way. Man, this thing's ready. Ready to go. Those little turbos are just angry. Yeah, just all the time. Like... I think it's good. Fix that little exhaust leak. It, the, the lifters are loud in this, yeah. but what are you going to do? Yeah. Six bolts? Four. Well, we're probably not going to put the front ones on there. What for? It holds itself. This is just like a just in case. How's oh. it going to come forward and come off? Oh, that that could never happen. Never. It's good. There was. You know how to use these things? Uh uh. No. Nope. This is my first time. <laughs> but for real, though, it's a pretty. Nope. One of them is off. Oh, there it goes. I'm a zero. Boom. Because that one said nine. Okay, set it down. And then go to the front. Probably should have done the back first, but just to let you know. Because now whenever you jack it up, this could roll off. You're good. Let her down. Being all easy and shit. Uh -huh. Man. Oh, girl's heavy. Man, these wireless scales are 
Man, no, that's they legit. are the business. That's legit, dude. I love it. I'm gonna start weighing everything. Everything. We we think I weigh. Right uh, now, I don't know, man. We, we had that Long John Silvers earlier. We, we did. We ate some nasty, terrible stuff for us earlier. Yeah. So just like this, holding this and everything. Uh, what? Two seventy-five. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Probably the two. It won't be more than two eighty. I wouldn't think. Nice. Two seventy-four. Nice. Not bad. That just means you can eat supper tonight, too. Huh? That just means you can eat supper tonight, oh, I'm too. I'm going to. Aaron making something good? I've been eating that jelly beans every night. Oh, it's not good. Oh, yeah. It's not good. All the sugars. Good? Yeah, let me make sure that both of them go to zero. Yeah, set it down. You good, Aiden? Yep. Yeah. What do you think? There's no front end. No 30. front end and no hood. That hood's heavy. Okay, without you in it, it should be about 30, yeah. probably 33.50. 33.89 without me in it and 52 on the rear. Oh, that's pretty good. Thirty-six sixty. That's what the OG used to weigh when we first started this whole deal. Jesus. And it made eighteen hundred. Two hundred pounds for the front end and the hood. Two twenty. Yeah. Should be two twenty. You never guess what? This car? Why? I thought it'd be way heavier. I thought Aiden's car was going to be heavy too. I thought it'd be. I think Aiden's car will be a little bit lighter than what this is right now. I, I think Aiden's will end up 34, 35, somewhere in so there. Too. Hey, and I'm cool with 35. Yeah, hell yeah. Cool. If I could get my truck to 35, I'd be stoked. Dude, hey, I'm digging the 52 on the rear. Yeah, that's though. pretty good. It, just turn it back on. It'd be I fun. know. Yeah, no, I thought this would be at least 4,000. All right, front end on. Sean in. Thirty-eight hundred. Let go. Yeah, thirty-seven ninety. So that means that that hood is what sixty seventy. Yeah, grab the hood. That hood's dumb heavy. Yeah. It might as well be steel. Just set it on there anywhere. It's it's, it's not going to go where it really goes. There you go. That'll, that'll be great, right there. Let, let it. Oh, so 30 pounds? Man, that's 30 pounds that we lost. That was fucking, me. it was me, wasn't it? Yeah. Because this thing was 36 or 38, yep. 60 yeah. before. Yeah. Well, and those front tires, those front tires were heavy as hell. Yep. I mean, right now it's 50, 50, 50 pretty much. I mean, that's... I think at any time, I don't give a shit, I'm going to race it, no hood. Yeah. Anytime I race it, I'll pull the hood off. Hey, take the hood off. Let's see. Man, so that hood's only 30 pounds? I, mean, I, thought, still... I thought it was 50. Dude, 50-50 on the money. Yeah. 